Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and it's Debsy and the place to be. It's Debsy Bloop Bloop. That's me. Boop, Debsy. Hey guys. Okay, so I hope everybody is having a great Thursday. Listen, I was not planning on making a video today because I didn't really have anything to talk about, and I just wanted to rest a little bit after a little bit of a tough day today, but listen and this is going to be a short video i think but best news of the entire year and best news of the last and some of the best news i don't want to say the best news of the last eight years but listen i'm going to say top three top three best news of last eight years and this is a shout out this is going out to any Real Housewives fans, but officially my least favorite housewife is gone. That is correct. Lisa Rinna is a, is officially off of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs> Let me just tell you, once again, calmly, it is official. Lisa Rinna and Bravo and the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills have officially and finally parted ways. After eight years on the show, which was in my opinion, eight years too long, they're done. When I say that I let out a yell and I, and a <laughs> when I saw this, online I was happy now listen it wasn't from one of these like you know we have a rumor it was officially from Bravo it was on Bravo and then I went to other places and it is official <sighs> I'm so excited I'm gonna tell you what I have not been a fan of I've not been a fan of Lisa Rinna's really ever. Like whenever she first started on Days of Our Lives as Billy, didn't like her. Days of Our Lives, my family was a Days of Our Lives family. Like my grandma watched it, my mom watched it, I watched it, my brother Kevin even watched it. And I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know if my grandma watched it with, with Billy on it with with her on it i don't know if kevin did either kevin probably did but i don't know how he felt about her i didn't like her dolly didn't like her and then when i saw her on real housewives i was like no i do not like her no 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 there was maybe 20 minutes where i was like do i is she maybe a little better nope she's not good riddance because here's the thing people will say well, they should really have kept her on because she brings the drama. She does bring the drama, but the thing is, is she never ever has a storyline of her own. She, her storyline has always been causing problems for someone else. I mean, she did it with Yolanda, with the Munchausen, with the Munchausen by proxy. She did it with Denise. She did it with kathy hilton this year she did it with kim richards and had the damn nerve and had the damn nerve this year to to talk about how she was so traumatized with uh, allegedly with what kathy hilton said and did in the sprinter van and then back at kyle's house in aspen she was all traumatized by that but it's okay whenever in amsterdam she picks up and four years ago she picks up a glass, a wine glass, and throws it at Kim Richards because Kim Richards said, let's talk about the husband. She never, she never had, she would never have a storyline of her own. And then last year, yes, I did feel bad for her when her mother died, when Lois passed away. Lois was a lovely lady, but then goes out and is like criticizing Bravo because they didn't do memorialize Lois more. Well, what do you want them to do? I mean, 
they they gave some time they gave some time to Lois. I mean, they weren't going to spend an entire episode on her. Um, and and that and that they they focused too much on the on the drama. I mean, well, listen, that's what these shows are. I mean, that's what ha that's what the housewives are. It's drama. And that's what you did for eight years of your career on there. For eight years of your life on this show, you caused the drama. No, no, no. And then and then goes out to BravoCon and is booed and, and says that she loves it. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, the writing was on the wall. I don't know how it happened. If she was, if they told her, listen, we're not going to renew your contract or whatever. If they told, told her, hey, maybe you might want to leave or if she came to it on her own. I don't know if maybe she needs some time away because of, you know, how she's taking her, her mom's passing. But listen, whatever got her out of this show, hooray, because ding dong Dell, the queen is dead, however it is. Whatever you want to say, ding dong, the witch is dead. That's what I'm saying. This is a happy day. If I had some champagne, I'd be popping the cork because Lisa Rinna is out. So with that being said, it is a happy day for me. Happy and joyous. So that was it. That's all. Nothing else. <laughs> Please let me know. Are you happy that she's gone? I mean, honestly, once again, I know you need drama on the show, but... She was just a hypocrite and she never had any storyline on her own. And this also makes me wonder, what, what about Erica now? I mean, her best friend, her bestie who blindly would, blindly would just, you know, back her whatever, whenever, no matter what she said or no matter what happened, what's going to happen with Erica now? Who's going to protect Erica? I know Erica would say probably, I don't need protecting but who's going to be in her corner now? So should be interesting. All right, everybody. If nobody told you yet today, I love you. You're loved, seen, and heard. Please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there. Please spread love and acceptance liberally. And just remember, Lisa Rinna is gone from RBO. Oh, from RBO, from R-H-O-B-H. Okay, everybody. I love you guys. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. She's gone.